This is Simon Stark, and in this video we are looking at the Suvat equations. So there are five equations that we need to learn and each of them will miss something in them. So the first one is V is equal to U plus AT and V is final velocity, U is the initial velocity, A is acceleration, T is time and then this one is missing S. So that is the thing it's missing and S is displacement. The next one is S is equal to half U plus VT, so that means displacement is equal to half, and then initial plus final velocity, and that is times by time. The next one is S is equal to UT plus half AT squared, so that means the displacement is equal to initial velocity times by time plus half times by acceleration times by times squared. Then S is equal to VT minus half AT squared, that is going to be displacement is equal to final velocity times time minus half times acceleration times time squared, so very similar to the third one. And then finally, v squared is equal to u squared plus 2as, and this one is going to be final velocity squared is equal to initial velocity squared plus 2 times acceleration times displacement. So now it's time to start looking at some questions involving Suvat equations. And the first one says that a ferry carries passengers between banks of a river, which are 20 metres apart. So after setting off, the ferry accelerates at 0.2 metres per second squared for 12 seconds before turning off the engine and decelerating at a constant rate and coming to a stop at the opposite bank. So firstly, in part A, what we have to do is calculate the speed of the ferry after the first 12 seconds. So in order to do a Suvat equation, what we're going to put is we're going to put S, U, V, A and T and we're going to work out which ones of these we have, which ones we need to work out and then there will always be one, there might not be one, you might have all of them but normally there'll be one which we don't have and that doesn't matter because there is always um, one thing that we don't need. So first of all, S. Now if we're looking at S, it's just say 20 metres apart here However, this is not useful because it also says that it turns off the engine and decelerates at a, constant, uh, at a constant rate after the 12 seconds, and this is only in the first 12 seconds. So we know that that isn't useful at the moment. So that means that we can put a cross here, as the question doesn't ask us at the moment to find the displacement. Now the initial velocity, now it doesn't say, but it does say after setting off. So that implies that it starts off from rest, so that means that the initial velocity is zero. Then the final velocity, now that is what it is asking us in the question, as it asks us to calculate the speed after 12 seconds. So for this one we'll put a question mark, as that was what we're trying to find out. Acceleration, it says it accelerates at 0.2 meters per second squared, so therefore what we could put there is a 0.2, and quite evidently t is 12 seconds as it says there and it also says the 12 seconds round there so that means that t is going to be equal to 12. So therefore we have to find the Suvat equation which doesn't include s and that one is going to be v is equal to u plus a t. So therefore v stays the same as we don't have it that is going to be equal to 0 plus 0.2 times by 12. That means that V is going to be equal to 2.4 meters per second. So now we look on to B. And this asks us to calculate the distance the ferry travels during these 12 seconds. So again, what we're going to do is put in our values of S, U, V, A and T. They are going to be mostly the same, but it's just about which ones we're looking for uh, in this particular example. So this is calculate the distance. So that means that we already know the S now we need. But then the other ones are going to stay the same because it's the first 12 seconds. So u again is gonna be zero. V we do know now no is 2.4, but we don't need to put it in as we always say anything, but we can put it in and any of them would work, but we can put that in for now, 2.4. A is gonna stay as 0 0.2. 
and then t is going to be 12. So really we could use any of the SUVAT equations, but the one we'll use is we, as we've just worked out v, we don't necessarily want to use it in case we were of, to have made a mistake in the first part. So that means that we could do s is equal to ut plus half a t squared. So s is what we're looking for. u, that's going to be zero times by anything zero, plus half times by 0 0.2 times by 12 squared. Put that in your calculator, you'll find that the displacement, the distance the ferry travels after 12 seconds is equal to 14.4 meters. Finally, in C, it asks us to calculate the value of the ferry's deceleration after the engines are turned off. So this time, we have slightly different things we're working out. So we'll put down the S, U, V, A, and T again. And we know now we calculate the value of the ferry's deceleration. So that means that now we need to work out what A is. So we'll put a question mark here. In terms of S, now this is where the 20 meters comes in because it's already done 14.4 meters. So therefore what we're going to do is 20 minus 14.4 and that is going to be equal to 5.6. So that means there are 5.6 meters left. That means 5.6 is the distance. In terms of U, now we do know that u is going to be 2.4 and we know this because of part a in part a we worked out the final velocity so that means that as that was a final velocity for the first 12 seconds now once the engine is turned off that shall be the initial velocity v we can know is also going to be zero and we know it's going to be zero because at the end it's um it stopped it's coming to a stop it says it in the part here. So as it's coming to a stop, that means its final velocity is going to be zero. And then t, well, we've already got four things there. We don't need to work it out, and it doesn't tell us anyway. So therefore, the one we're going to use for this one doesn't involve t, and that is going to be v squared is equal to u squared plus 2as. So v squared is just zero, zero squared. That's gonna be equal to 2.4 squared plus two times by 5.6 and then times by a. So therefore zero is going to be equal, 2.4 squared is gonna be 5.76. then plus, that's going to be 11.2a. Doing some more rearranging, which is often done in SUVATS, it's just a lot of rearranging. 11.2a is equal to minus 5.76, which would be right, as obviously, obviously it's deceleration, so we will expect to have a negative number. So that means that a is going to be equal to minus naught 0.51 which is to two significant figures meters per second squared so as it's minus it shows its deceleration which means that we could be fairly sure that we have the right answer there and it is obviously the right answer so the final question here is about a stone being projected vertically upwards with a speed 18 meters per second from a point two meters above the ground so first of all, we need to find the greatest height reached by the stone. So again, this is going to be SUVAT equations, but we do have to know that because it's going to be in the air, we're looking at gravity, which means acceleration will be minus 0.8 meters per second squared. So that's what we have to remember in these sorts of questions so that they make sense. But again, we're going to put out S, U, V, A, and T.
and s well we don't know this and this is what we're trying to work out because it asks for the greatest height which means that we can apply that this is s so therefore we have a question mark under this in terms of u it is a stone is projected vertically upwards with a speed 18 meters per second so that means that u is 18. V we also know. Now, although it doesn't say it, the greatest height means a maximum height. And at a maximum height, the speed is zero. So therefore, V shall be zero. Then A is minus 9.8, as we were saying earlier, because of gravity. And then T, we don't know. It doesn't say, and we don't need. So therefore, we're going to put this one into the one which doesn't need T. That is V squared is equal to U squared plus 2as. So v squared is going to be 0. That's going to be equal to u squared, so 18 squared. And that's going to be plus 2as, um, so 2 times by minus 0 0.8, 9.8, and then times by s. Start simplifying this, what we're going to get is 0 is equal to 324 minus 19.6 s, so therefore 19.6 s is going to be equal to 324. That means that s is going to equal 16.53 meters. But we haven't finished yet. And that's because it says from a point two meters above the ground, and it says the greatest height reached by the stone. So this means that the greatest height, S, is gonna be equal to 18.53 meters. And that's because it's 16.53 meters above its starting point, which was already Two meters. So now let's look at B. As B is asking for the speed at which the stone hits the ground. So this time we'll put again S U V A T, and this is the standard procedure, as I'm sure you would have gathered by now, to do SUVA equations. So this time S is going to be minus two. And we know this because it, for speed it hits the ground. The ground is two meters below where it starts as it starts two meters above the ground. So that means that when it hits the ground, it's two meters below where it started from. U is gonna be 18 again, because we're looking at the whole journey this time and it starts off as 18. V, now that's what we don't know. And that's because it's the speed there but as we need it, we've got a question mark there. A, as always, minus 9.8. And then T, don't need to know, not useful. So therefore, we're going to be using exactly the same one on this one. V squared is equal to U squared plus 2AS. So that means that we're going to have V squared here, which we don't know, is going to be equal to 18 squared, which is 324, as we've already worked out, and then plus 2as. Now that is going to be equal to plus 39.2. That means that v squared is equal to 363.2. Therefore, v is going to be equal to plus or minus 19.06 meters per second. So final question we have here, C, and this is the time between the instant the stone is projected and when it hits the ground. So hopefully what we'll have here is um, as it's the time between the uh, instant the stone, that's going to be zero, and then the time 
otherwise is going to be whatever t is when it hits the ground. So that means that this time t is going to be what we're trying to find out. Got a question mark there. A is going to be minus 9.8 again. Then V, now we're not going to put anything in for V because again, we have just worked it out. It's not really the nicest of numbers to be using. So for now, as we don't need it, we'll just put a cross there. We could put it in if you wanted to, but it's easier not to. As S is going to be minus two as it's when it hits the ground and we talked about that before. And then U, once again, that's going to be 18. So that means that we will be using for this one, S is equal to UT plus half AT squared. So that means that we've got minus two is equal to 18T minus 4.9T squared. Now we'll rearrange this to make a quadratic, which will give us 4.9T squared then minus 18t minus 2 is equal to 0. So you can either put this in the quadratic formula, or if you've got a calculator which can solve these, put it in your calculator. And what you'll get is t is equal to 3.78 seconds. So we'll run it up to say 3.8 seconds. You'll also get a negative answer, but obviously we're not going to keep that negative answer because you can't have a negative amount of time. So thank you for watching this video and see you soon. Bye.